Why do marijuana cravings eventually go away? It's because you found something that's better and greater than the marijuana. A lot of people, they get stuck in their marijuana uses because they can't see anything above that. They can't see a future, they can't see relationships, maybe a career. And I was like that too. I only could see what was right in front of me, which is my grinder and my bowl. Uh, once I started to let that go, I started to focus more on all the things that I could potentially do with my life. The cravings just slowly started to fade away. And then about month four, I remember specifically having some friends over. I had a little bit of weed left that I had been saving. And I just said, hey, you guys can have it. I don't want this. And it was the most calm, like, yeah, I really don't want this because I had already started to focus and put my time into other things that were gonna generate the life that I actually wanted. The, the life that I was escaping from with weed. <laughs> I wanted that life, but I didn't have it. And so I was depressed and I would just smoke weed to try to feel better and it would just create this vicious cycle, obviously. So once I started getting on the path and focusing on things that were actually important to me, AKA relationships, AKA getting back into shape, uh, eating really well, uh, starting to develop my spirituality, go to recovery meetings and meet people that were like-minded and also on the journey. I started to realize what well, this is way better than anything I could have imagined <laughs> in my entire life, uh, especially when I was smoking weed. So the question for you today is what is your future life that could be right around the corner that could be that thing that gives you that spark and that energy that you've always been looking for? And what is it going to take for you to get there? Maybe you don't know exactly, but start charting out some steps. Like, okay, if I, if I can start doing this on a daily basis, incorporating these habits, am I gonna get closer or further away from the goal? I can guarantee you if you're exercising and eating right, no matter what the goal is, unless it's like, you know, being unhealthy and, you know, being a piece of <laughs> you're gonna have, you're gonna be going in the right direction towards that dream life. You might hear me say this too, be like, dude, that's great. You're living your dream life. Like what, I'm not even close to that. And I understand exactly your mindset and where you're coming from right now, because I was in that spot. I was like, dude, there's no way. There's just too much work to do. I don't know where to start. And so just know that I was there and I got through it because I pushed through and I started, and, I, and it all started with putting down the joy, putting down the bong and saying, this is where I wanna take my life. I have no idea where this is gonna lead. There was a lot of uncertainty. I knew though, if I kept doing what I was doing, I was gonna get the same results, which was anxiety, paranoia, misery, depression, sadness, grief, well, and, and process grief. So just like neuroticism, essentially. So comment down below what your next step might be to start living your dream life, start letting go of marijuana and becoming the person that you always wanted to be and that you know deep down that you could be and that you will be if you put in the work. I know the fact that you're watching this video says there's a part of you that knows there's something better. Otherwise, you wouldn't be spending this time to watch a marijuana recovery video. <laughs> Trust me, it's not like the most exciting content in the world. But if you're here, I know that you know that there's something amazing for you right around the corner. So comment and share if you know anybody that is also struggling with weed. And we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.